are you adjusting po sa mga uh, The difficult adjustment is to the schedule because you have to see more people, study uh, more, reflect more, and really make difficult decisions. And um, your life, of course, is not your own anymore. It's determined by the organization you serve, by the people you deal with. And uh, suddenly, I have a boss <laughs> after how many years of being on my own. You mentioned po in your statement that uh, you thought the, opin uh, the opinion of your uh, family no family wants its matriarch to be wondering about the entire country and uh, getting flat and getting exposed to the elements as well as the public opinion. Generally, most families don't want somebody whom they love to undergo such uh, uh, experiences. And, uh, since I have been secretary to the commission and audit before, uh, vice president of the University of the Philippines, and then treasurer of the Philippines, so they know what I underwent. So they're not particularly uh, um, enthusiastic and cheering, <laughs> but 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 they know that it is probably an important contribution that can be made by our family. Parang they are suggesting that. Sana bigyan na ng choice yung parents kung gusto nilang ituloy na ng college ano, or 8 to 12. Parang ganun po. Uh, if, if, the child, uh, if the child has to go to uh, what we call grade 11, yes, well, or direction yeah, sa college. Direction sa college. They will have a problem later. Because as you know, in the ASEAN integration, uh, we are free to go out mm -hmm. and find work in other countries. And uh, they are also free to come in. And most uh, institutions, especially for work or even for advanced studies, always come. I have talked with um, embassies, uh, our own ambassadors, and they say that uh, our educational system uh, is considered deficient because we only have 10 years. So even if they will be allowed to go to college here. They will have problems later on if the objective of college education is finding a job, uh, not only for further studies, but also really finding a job, because that is always uh, considered. We are only one of two countries. We are only um, one of three countries that we are launching it uh, on June 13, uh, which has 10-year uh, educational system. Because historically, that was not the case. It was a deliberate decision on the part of the government at that time uh, to, to reduce the number uh, of years. And, and this has, of course, uh, speeded things up for us. But at the same time, uh, it has uh, diminished also the, the opportunities of our uh, children. But uh, we are not doing this because we want to uh, supply the international, the global market, the multinationals with their workers. We are also doing it because eventually we will be industrialized. Eventually we will be developing. We will need uh, skilled um, skilled people. And with the ASEAN integration, I don't know if you have noticed that there are already many uh, people from other countries already working here. And, and if you are a multinational, again, they, they will tend to come those number of years. So um, actually it's a matter of catching up. I'm not sure if we can say that we still have a choice at this particular time, maybe before. Um, but now with, with, with international competition and the needs also of our own country. And uh, we always keep complaining about the quality of our graduates quality of our educational system. And so this is the, the, the response. There are large groups of, of Filipinos who are left out. And if you uh, consider that, um, we always say that no one should be left out. If you have big G GDP, everybody has to share in that GDP. Then uh, we have to be spending and uh, spending and investing also more in our alternative learning systems, uh, in an alternative delivery modes. 
Ma'am, alternative, yeah, how much would be the ideal budget for for education? Yung slice of like 1.3 trillion budget that we have, what would be the best slice of for education? Um, to see, uh, yung amin limited language is just for certain aspects of alternative yeah. learning systems. We were thinking for 2016, we we're thinking in terms of 45 billion. It's, it's 45 really, billion. Yeah, it's really that uh, big, no? Yeah. Because uh, you think of, of textbooks, you think of equipment, um, you think of specialized teachers, mm -hmm. you also think of people with disabilities mm -hmm. who, who should not be left uh, behind. Um, sometimes they're described as children of a lesser God, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, but all children are, are, are really uh, the same and equal. So they have to be provided for, even as we provide for the majority of, of children in the K-12 program. Still, still on deep, deep ed. Uh, I have a special interest because I said I'm interested in alternative learning system, alternative modes of delivery to reach those which are not covered in the program. Uh, um, I also have a special interest in culture. Mm -hmm. I have interest in, in, in history and theater uh, because that is the kind of education I had, basic education. And, and so I will be very interested because one of the tracks is in arts, uh, in arts and also sa, sa tech book in graphic design. Uh, this has to be connected and has to be uh, reflective of the kind of historical experience that, uh, that we have had. Uh, it's not only knowing a foreign theater uh, or foreign literature, foreign plays, foreign musicals, or even K-pop, but also knowing our own, our own history. Uh, by the way, if we adore uh, K-pop and Koreans, they are very nationalistic. They care for their country, and it's that kind of, of um, uh, outlook that we'd also like to encourage among our young people. So it will connect mo yung culture na yan. Uh, theater. Hindi masyadong nasusupport dyan. Hmm. So, um, I just want to ask if you have plan, because before, back in the 90s, there is Department of Education, Culture and Sports. Mm -hmm. But then, when dumating po yung kaila Pinoy administration, parang naging death end na lang siya. Oh, Would you like naging... to back again, bring back again the integration? Yes, of... without necessarily adding in culture and sports, siguro nahahabaan sila masyado. <laughs> Oo, oh, si Dex, ang haba, maubusan ka ng hininga. <laughs> Oo. Oh. So, uh, so but without having to change the name, you still call it death end. Because after all, education includes culture, it includes uh, sports, uh, it includes theater. Because uh, that is where you get the soul of the country. I mean, we, we, we can be a nation of technocrats and experts and so on. But where will you get your political leaders? Where will you get your poets? Those who mirror our soul. Those who tell us what we are and where we are going. And this is where the poets come in, the writers, the theater people uh, who mirror us and tell us what we really are. Usahay na ganamgo ako Na ikaw o gako Nagkahigong maay Usahay, Usahay. I, 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 I dream Sometimes I dream that you and I Are in love with each other And I dream in my, you know Sa akong I dream in my loneliness, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes also I regret I, why I am still alive on this earth. Very Filipino, yes. oh. why I am alive? Because you are just playing with me. Why are you playing with my heart? Something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. 